Hello, Lake Erie Council. I'm so excited to be back with you today. It is Friday. Uh, wow, where'd that week go? Today, we're going to be having some fun with Lions Adventure, Gizmos and Gadgets. I don't know uh, if anybody's been uh, in doing some inventing or not this with their downtime, but we're gonna have some fun talking about some gizmos and gadgets just right now. Uh, basically what is gonna happen is uh, we're gonna talk, have some fun, talk about uh, properties of motion and force, and then at the end, we'll make some uh, gadgets. Uh, so for the first thing we're gonna start off with is our gathering activity real quick. So if you're at home uh, and you have uh, two jars or um, two milk gallons, you can cut the uh, bottom off and you can flip it over and keep the handle and then you can play catch with it. And you can change the different uh, intensities or how difficult it is by uh, changing up the different objects that you're throwing, things like that. Uh, today we had, uh, so a variety of different objects we could have thrown. Um, we have my makeshift bean bag. All I did was I took a, a bag, a plastic bag, I put some rice and then duct tape, and then it was a bean bag. And then you could use some ping pong balls or I like socks. They're a different uh, weight or um, texture too. And then also we have marshmallows. Marshmallows are always soft and fun to use. But uh, I'm going to call over my uh, assistant today. With lions, uh, we all know that lions have their, their partner, their parent with them uh, at all when they do scouts. So today I have my uh, mom with me, uh, Becky. You want to pop on up? Uh, and we are going to have some fun. So She's gonna try, I'm gonna use my basket today because I actually don't drink a lot of milk. So I did not have any milk containers to uh, use today. But basically all it is is gonna throw it and you're gonna try and catch it. And each time uh, it's gonna, we're gonna try something different. If it's smaller, is it harder or easier to catch usually? Um, sometimes it's harder. Actually, you're right. Sometimes the smaller the object, the less surface area you have to, to catch it. So let's try it. Ooh, that was a little hard and it almost bounced out. So that's a little gathering game. Uh, you can play at home and you can make, use anything you have, nothing too complicated. But everything that I do, that we do today um, is going to, I found in my house. Uh, so nothing too com cumbersome, but first off, we're gonna get started with the Pledge of Allegiance. Okie dokie. I'm going to stand up. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. So, now that we've started our meeting officially, if anybody has any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the uh, comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, we will ask some questions throughout the activities to see and, uh, and see what you guys know. Okay, so let's get started. So our first requirement that we will be talking about is we're exploring properties of motion. So motion, what, do you know what motion is? It's the movement of things. Yeah, so it's the, mo yeah, the movement. Basically it's um, motion can be back and forth, front to back. So back and forth, this is movement, front to back or side to side. It's pretty, Pretty interesting, right? Mm -hmm. So motion is so if you're moving your remote, this is motion up and down, up and down. If you are opening your cabinet, you're opening it and closing it. That's all motion. So 
we are going to do a little fun activity. So our first activity is called rolling investigation. So we're gonna do a little investigating. So what you need for this activity is a couple of different things. Uh, you need something to be able to make an incline. So we're gonna use cardboard, um, one of those presentation folder cardboards. Um, you can use anything just so it makes it a lane. Then once you, you also need something to put under it. Today we're gonna use baskets, but you could use books, textbooks, paper, newspaper, something just to give it an incline. So then we're also going to do, we're gonna use uh, a rubber ball that's hollow. We're gonna use an orange. We're going to use a ping pong ball. And we're going to use two jars of, of spaghetti sauce, one empty and one full. So first we're gonna take, we're gonna switch over to a different camera real quick. Let me make sure that you guys don't get your ears blown out while I, once I move. Okay, we're gonna move over here. Stop this video. We're gonna walk over here. Start our video. Oh. So. Mom, would you mind hold? Hold on one second. If I'm not careful, we'll uh, we're going to do a rolling activity. So can you hold this up for me, please? Okay. Can you see the picture, Mom? So we're we're gonna start. We've got our board and we have our basket underneath it to give it a little elevation. And then I actually put something at the end so it will catch anything so it won't slam any stuff. So we're gonna start with let's start with two hollow balls. One's has a larger diameter than the other. Which one do you think is gonna go? Can, in the uh, comments, can you guys put, which one do you think is gonna go fastest? What do you think? Um, I think the green ball is gonna go faster. Okay, let's see. One, two, three. Let's see, you're right. Awesome, okay. Next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go grab my balls on the other end because I don't want them to slam into anything. And then we're going to use my spaghetti sauce containers. I don't recommend using glass. However, these were the ones that I had at home. So we've got empty and we have full. If, go ahead and mark in the comments if you know. What do you think, Mom? Um. I think the empty one's going to go faster. Okay, let's try that. Ooh, careful. You might want to start a little lower. <laughs> oh, actually, the heavier one went farther. Hmm. That's interesting. Now, the longer it is, the easier it is to see the differences. Okay, so now we have the orange. Is this hollow or not hollow? Not hollow. Okay, and this is, it's pretty, it's hollow. So we're going to try this. See which one you think the hollow or the non hollow one's going to go faster? Um, I think the hollow one's going to go faster. Okay, run, 
two, three. Oops, the orange stopped. <laughs> I ended up putting it on the only flat part. It's been sitting in my fridge. One, two, oops. I'm gonna actually switch out oranges. So it's been sitting in a second. So, because it's not as round as it was about 20 minutes ago. Okay. So this, these experiments are, have to do with motion. So they're going forward, right? Yes. Okay. So here we go. The orange. More dense than the other one, so it pushes it forward more. Okay, so that was pretty interesting, right? I learned a lot from that experiment. How about you, Mom? I did. You never know exactly which one it's going to be. Okay, so that's pretty fun. You can test out any uh, anything with that's a, a sphere versus a cylinder, which is what we did with the. Um, we're going to do the sphere, which is what? Sphere versus a cylinder. Let's see. There we go. The sphere one. Okie dokie. Now we're going to move back over and do a force experiment. Okay, so we're gonna start the video over here too. So you get two views. Okay, I'm gonna flip it. Can you hold it right here, mom? Perfect. We're gonna do our next experiment, which is exploring some properties of force, which is our second requirement. Can you tell me what force is, Mom? Force is the strength that something goes. goes. Yeah, so it's a push and pull. So it creates motion. It's what creates motion um, and movement. So we have to have force in order to move something. So our next thing we're gonna do is the ping pong ball race. How's that sound? Sounds like fun. So the ping pong ball race, you need a straw and a big ball. Okay, so we're gonna put it right here. Now, sometimes it likes to go wherever it wants to go because it's not a completely flat table, right? So should I blow hard or, or should I try blowing hard or, or very slow? I blow very lightly, very slow. Okay, so it moves it, right? Yes. However, it takes a lot longer to get down the, down the table, right? What if I blow it really hard? It makes it go faster, right? Yes, very quick. So the more force that you do, so the harder you blow, the faster it goes. The lower you blow, it goes slow. And if it's on an incline, it'll pick up some speed. Um, but there you go. Want to try something else? Sure. Okay. So we're going to try the ping pong ball is going to knock. Do you think it's going to knock over the, uh, domino? Yes. So start with soft, soft first. Uh Oh, it didn't work. So do you think I should try? Try blowing it harder. It worked. So it directed it faster and it got there right away. So what, do you think it'll knock over more than one? Um, If you blow it really hard, I bet it will. Okay, let's try it. Yes, it does. You wanna try three? Sure. Okay. 
You can keep trying as much as you want. Now you think if I blow softly that it's gonna knock these down? No. Oh man, I must've blown pretty hard. Awesome. So you can keep trying. You can set them up and try it more and more. See how much force it takes to knock the create movement and knock over the dominoes. That was an interesting one, right? It was. Okay. So our next one is kind of fun. So this is we're going to go to requirement three, where everybody gets the opportunity to make a gadget or gizmo. But first off, we're going to show you a little bit. So, you know, your toothbrush, right? You think it's, uh, you normally just go like, normally you brush your teeth, things like that, right? You can do it with a manual toothbrush. Oh yeah. However, somebody decided that they could make your life easier or make uh, your teeth cleaner by creating a, another version of your toothbrush, which buzzes which you can't see, but yeah, this little button right here. And so that's a, a new gadget. Then you also have, so you've probably seen your mom's curling iron, right? Uh, you have a curling iron, right? I've probably I, seen you. Mm -hmm. I do too. I have a variety of technological irons. However, what do you think this is? This. Let's have some guesses in the comments. Okay, so this is actually a curling iron too, but you stick your hair in it and it sucks at it. Where if you have your other curling irons, you have to fit and physically rotate your hand, arms. So things like that. Um, this one's your favorite, Mom, I think, right? Oh, I love this one. What is that? That's an apple peeler core or a potato peeler. Yeah, it's one of my favorites too, especially over on the holidays when we're peeling lots and lots and lots of potatoes. This is awesome, right? But couldn't you do it with just a plain? Absolutely. Right? So that is a gadget that people have made to make your life a little bit easier. And there's lots of apps and things like that that you can use too. Okay. Let me come on over here. And we'll get on to the next. That, so when I talk about that a little bit, that's because we're going to be doing a, we're going to give everybody a kit, which so at home, parents, if you would like if to, your kids to take part in this, all you have to do is go around the house, find six to eight objects that you don't mind them uh, turning into something else, put it in a bag and hand it to them. And you and, the, and that, your child or whoever can use this bag and then you're going to make what something out of whatever you, they have you know, put a gadget together. So uh, I would take about 10, 15 minutes to do it. We're not gonna do that here just because that's a little bit of extra time, but uh, we're going to show you the bag that I put together so that you can see. So I have my red bag here. It's just a plain bag, you can use paper bag, whatever. And then I put some, I had somebody put some stuff in here and then I hand it to my mom. So I put a glass jar, uh, some popsicle sticks, some foil, and then I also put a bag of just nuts and bolts, and then some pipe cleaners and a cup. So I gave this to my mom because I was like, you know, mom, you uh, work with the uh, preschoolers or kindergartners and all that fun stuff. So how about you take a shot at, it, at making something? So she went down, she sat down, she's like, I'm not, it's not my thing, but I'm gonna try. So she made a uh, a gadget that helps you deliver stuff to people so you don't have to be as close to each other. So it's a delivery method. You put something in it and you give it to somebody else. So it's, it's two popsicle sticks, a couple pipe cleaners and a cup. So it's a pretty cool gadget. We'll put that away. And I'm gonna check in on 
Facebook to see if we have any questions. And also another question is, if you make gadgets, can you combine them to make it one big gadget? That would be an interesting question. So maybe a couple people in your family can create a gadget and then maybe, and don't tell each other what you're making and try putting them together to see how that is working. Okay, we have a couple comments. Well, not anything really on there right now, but hold on. So now we'll finish up the day. Here you go, mom. And if anybody has any questions, we'll keep watching the Facebook for a little bit to see. If uh, we would love to have you guys on every day, uh, we'll be back next week with some fun activities. Tonight, we'll be announcing the rest of the next week or two of activities. So check us, check it out, uh, 530. Uh, we are glad you're here and we'll hope to see everybody um, check out our Scout Zone service coming up later tonight. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.